So now I'm going to show you what uh, this ecosystem looks like in reality in our school. What are uh, the different transitions we go through to really build these digital citizenship skills. So the first thing is that we are a seed here and we are thinking of becoming a, a beautiful tree. So the first thing is ambition and ambition is translated into our vision. So we have a positive and creative edtech vision which really drives us every day and in the decision we make and we live and breathe it. And it's really connected to the EC standard because of this notion of agency and um, technology integration with a meaningful purpose. When we go to preschool, we make uh, our preschoolers make their first steps into the digital world by sharing and collaborating. So I showed you a few examples with the teddy bear project, but also through anything that they're going to do offline and they're going to share online with Seesaw, they are really focusing on this collaboration, sharing and caring. Our grade one and two develop critical thinking and positive interaction. So here they start using Google Classroom. So they start also writing and typing a little more. So they start liking and commenting on each other's posts and they develop those interaction that really makes digital citizenship kick off with uh, uh, all the uh, interaction, social interaction that we expect to be positive. The great, uh, our grades three to five refine their digital literacy skills and enhance their creativity. So here we do a lot more of research, investigation, exploration. So for instance, we use a web path express from Destiny, but we also use different uh, web search engines that are kids friendly, but we also learn how to use Google with the safe uh, restriction mode, safe search, and how do we give credits, uh, how do we search for images on Creative Commons and Flickrs and things like that. And uh, the next step is our middle schoolers in grade six to 10. So here we know, and we know because we just look, that our students are, uh, more difficult. They are teenagers. Uh, they are already using a lot of social media, so we cannot deny the world around us and we will have to teach them how to use that safely. So we decide that they need to have an experience which is going to give them that safe way of experiencing. So what we do is we use GoInance, which is a new product and it's excellent. It's like um, LinkedIn for students. So they develop a profile online and they can decide to share it publicly or not. They have followers that can be their family, their friends, their teachers, and they share, they post things about their achievements. So it's really creative, positive, and it really helped them to develop this college readiness and also to be able to share the link with their college, uh, through their college application to showcase the work they've been doing for years. So it is a way for us to have meaningful conversation when a problem or a question arises in class and to really know our students and know them uh, for their strengths and pa passions. In grade 11 and 12, our students are now growing a lot, they are maturing, and they are becoming this beautiful tree that uh, we were thinking about in the beginning. And here they really want to be independent, autonomous. So what we do is we allow them to create their own blog, so we do not micromanage anything. They create their own blog for their community service and creativity, and they share it publicly. So it's a way for them to really experience authorship,